Well, we are pretty recent. We started, like the idea started at a meeting at Burritoville. We, I was invited to a, a round table. Uh, Professor Satoshi was talking about uh, alternative food system at Concordia and beyond, like neighborhoods and stuff like that. And he asked the, asked the participants to think about one thing that they would be passionate to do right now that would contribute to change or to this alternative food systems. So um, from there, two people like me and Alison Smith, that she moved to another, um, to Ontario. But like we came out of that saying, stating that we are interested in, in fermentation and in food preservation. For me, that started um, from my experience in, at the city farm school. Um, I, part I was an intern there, and uh, for me it was like um, a way to transform food, to extend the life shell, uh, the, the shell, uh, what is the name? Shelf life. Shelf life, thank you, um, of food. And also, like, I'm from Brazil, and I was just arrived, and some vegetables I didn't even know what it was. We planted, and... We harvest, and it was like, what is that? How do you eat this? So there was like a lot of ideas coming from other people that were there, other uh, interns, saying how it could be done, like how it could be prepared, how it could be transformed, so it, it would be the best way to eat or one way to eat. And that um, like sparkled something, some interesting in me into collective kitchen, collective cooking, collective preparing food. And they went, uh, but I didn't take any actions to it. I did uh, also take a, um, a little workshop through the City Farm School on food preservation, on food fermentation, pickling and canning too. And that was like the starting point of like a research for me, um, which wasn't actually part of my habits that became so um, after this meeting at Burritoville, me and Allison started uh, researching and like around the, the university uh, preparing food together. And then other people came and started uh, participating on these little meetings. And then we decided to apply to have like the cost of these little experiments um, covered. Uh, at C CFC. So that's how we became a CFC working group. The first phase was kind of more of a research, action research kind of uh, deal. We would like to contribute, which was the first goal of starting this, um, to the food system. But we didn't actually have enough knowledge to do it, so the first phase was to experiment with food fermentation, um, looking into the season of what produce was available. And then we, we would like go to the markets around and buy the things that were there and then define the recipe and cook that or not cook, um, transform that together. And we um, kind of record some stuff, the like quantities and what recipes and what was good to do when. And then um, we went to a December break because everybody goes away. And then in January, it was hard to put the team back together. And from, we, like, we had planned that we would uh, do twice a month this, um, we would research and then experiment twice a month with whatever it was the season available to produce. But then that didn't happen after December. They, we managed to do, um, two or three workshops on that and that's it then in one of the, these workshops uh, we recruited a little um a, a little bit of people and one of them was nadra which was a great contribution to this project so she came in and we uh, reorganized we um, thought about like this these problems that happened like the disper dispersion of people and how would, how would we create something that would um, develop a community 
so to avoid that, like that dispersion. So because we were offering uh, introduction workshops, and there was always introduction, so it was always new people, and there was no like kind of no community building. So we um, decided to design the second phase of the project, which was the series, the workshop series. And I think that we are now in this phase, and I think that was a good change. It's working. Um, we are having um, a lot of response from participants, and that's catch up to now.